Okay, Golf Digest subscribers, uh, obviously we're still in quarantine, we're still in the basement. Uh, that's all right, we'll get our stuff done. Um, and you're stuck with me for a few more days. So we talked about grip and setup. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about uh, path and face, uh, a few other things, but the, the thing we haven't talked about um, enough, a little bit, but not enough, is obviously the, the biggest moment of truth and, and that's impact. There's nothing more bigger than, than impact. So what I'd like to do is, is take you straight to impact. And I think if we did this a little bit more, I think it would be uh, a little bit easier to teach the game as far as start at impact, know what you got to feel, have to feel at impact and kind of branch out from there. Now in earlier videos, uh, I, I'd said that really good players from here to impact to there, that's kind of really what they're looking for. Um, not so much up up in here. I know people are are looking for cosmetically what it, what it takes up there. Um, it does help for sure, but from what happens from here on the downswing to impact and follow through, if you can if you can be solid through there, it really doesn't matter what the rest of the swing looks like. Now we do things as you know as far as grip and setup and um, you know what what we're trying to do. To achieve these things but what I want to do is, is show you what impact looks like um, if I asked a number of people they would set up and I, and I ask them well first if I can get an answer for them, a lot of people will say impact what do you mean impact well you know, obviously when we hit the ball they haven't thought about it because their mind is so far of you know what's the face doing what's the club doing um, you know at the top of the swing and we're not really focused on impact. So when we go down to impact, here's what I get from a lot of people. If I get an answer, they say, okay, well, impact kind of looks something like that. So they, they move into the ball, their shoulders get open, and their right arm goes on top and the face is shut. Okay, so where do you think that ball is going to go? Well, I'm gonna, that's either going to go dead left. It definitely looks like it's going to start left. It may go to the right a little bit, depending on what the face is doing. So let me show you what true impact looks like to a really good player. So first thing you want to do is set up. And okay, we'll get in our setup position. Now impact, here's what happens at impact. My left hip is going to push my left leg out of the way. Or sorry, my left leg is going to push my left hip out of the way. Okay, that's going to start a little bit of a reaction. My left hip gets out of the way. See, it, it tilts my shoulders. And when my shoulders tilt, my hands go up a little bit, and then my <clears throat> my right arm kind of digs right underneath me, and my right arm and the shaft of the of the club line up. So we call that line of compression. So what that is doing, see your arm is stabilizing the shaft. That's why we had to have your your right hand on the back of the shaft so it mimics the face. Well, now we're getting into your forearm is mimicking the shaft. So everything is lining up when you get into impact. Okay, let's do that again. So again, we'll get into our, our setup position. Okay, now impact. My left leg, left foot, left leg is going to push my hip out of the way. You can see my center get away from the golf ball a little bit. That's going to tilt my shoulders. It's going to straighten my left arm a little bit. That's why the left hand has got to be on the grip correctly. So it squares the face. And then my, my right forearm, again, matches up with a shaft. That's what impact looks like. Now, <clears throat> if I wanted to get really good, what I would do is go to impact and just practice hitting some golf balls like that. So again, with, with no ball first, set up, impact. Okay, now we've worked on face impact. We know the right hand wants to work this way, so we're trying to feel the, the face of the golf club is square to the path of the swing, or it's 90 degree angles to the swing arc. Okay, so we get into impact and just hit balls this way. Okay, so you can see the, the face is here, so it's square, impact, and releases through. Okay, square, impact, releases through. So I start to get a feeling of what impact should feel like when I hit my golf ball. Okay, so again, get in here. Set up, impact, you don't have to hit it very hard. So again, I'm away from the ball, see my body's gotten out of the way of my arm swing. 
So my right arm can go back and through. Okay, Do that one more time. So again, we'll get into setup, impact, setup, impact. Now I'm just going to make the face go back and through. Okay, so you can see the face is still still square. So if we can understand impact and work our way back and just start to get familiar with what impact feels like. Most people have no idea what it, what it feels like, what it looks like. If I can get you, the task is to get you to feel what impact feels like. You know, there are a number of things that you're not gonna do. If that's the most important part of your, in your swing, you're not gonna feel like you wanna come over the top. You know, you're, you're not gonna feel like we keep practicing this because I know what impact, it's got my right arm kind of tucked in on the side of the shaft. I know that's not the main goal. I know, <clears throat> I also know the main goal is it moving into it. Because I've done all these, you know, these three or four little things that put me at impact. And that tells me where I want to be to have the most success with my golf swing. So, find impact, start to work the face on the plane line, start to work the face square to the plane line. And all we're trying to do is literally hit shots 20, 30 yards. Uh, I promise you won't waste any time doing that. You start working on stuff cosmetically up here um, or things that get too far away from impact and you're really wasting your time. And also, if, if you practice at a speed that's close to 100 or 90%, you're just reinforcing your bad habits. So again, know how to practice, know what impact is, know what kind of speed it takes to really groove your swing. Not, not saying that you can't do 100% some of the time, but this is where 80% of the practice should be. Now you can see that there's a stick lined up here. That should be going right underneath your record button when you're, <clears throat> when you're videotaping. Because that, that is right on my hand line, so I have a correct view of what the swing's looking like. That's really important. I can't be too far over the right or to the left. It's not going to give me uh, the right angle to make sure that I'm practicing right. So. Start at impact. Uh, the next video I'm gonna send out will get us a little bit further away from impact, but we still need to kind of really center around impact. Do this and, and I know it'll help your chipping, pitching, even putting. That line of compression is for every shot in golf. So this is a, this is a real huge one to hang on to 